All right, well, here's another reason I, I like to use the supercapacitor. Is if I ever did come up with a self-runner, this is what you would see. And this is what you would hear if you were listening to it with a radio. The motor with a supercapacitor would run faster and faster and faster. And the value on the supercapacitor would increase. And I'm simulating that here with this little solar panel that is taking energy in from the environment. In this case, it's photovoltaic. And the value on the capacitor, the voltage value, is climbing. The motor is running. It's not only running, but it's increasing in its RPM. You can hear that on the radio. This light here, the indicator light, would get brighter and brighter. And if I didn't stop this, this would probably self-destruct. And uh, they do this on solar systems. They have loads. They put on a load on the system so that it doesn't uh, overcharge the batteries. But anyway, this is a simulation of what would happen if you ever did come up with a motor that ran itself. Um, I'm thinking there's a way to do it with heat. If you could draw the heat and convert it into a mechanical energy, you could get something like this. I just don't know how to do it, but uh, this is an example using solar of what would happen if you had a self-runner. If you had a true self-runner, the capacitor quantity of energy would increase, and it would keep on increasing. It wouldn't just stop. It would just get up to a certain point, probably where the friction perhaps overcame the intake of energy, but if that didn't happen, this will get faster and faster and faster until it's self-destructed. But anyway, that's my little simulation of what would happen if you ever, ever did come up with a truly self-running motor. Thanks for watching.